chords, segments, arcs, and sectors. What these four words all have in common is that they're all special names for parts of a circle. And in this video, we're going to explain exactly what each one means. Let's draw out a circle and start with chords. A chord is just a straight line that connects two points on the circumference of a circle. So this line here is a chord because it's a straight line and it connects this point on the circumference to this point on the circumference. Something to notice about this chord is that it effectively splits the circle into two parts. And this actually brings us to our second term, because we call each of these two parts a segment. And more precisely, we call the smaller part the minor segment, and the larger part the major segment. So if we took a couple more circles and drew chords across each one, we'd be splitting them both into minor segments and major segments. The third term we need to cover is the arc, which is basically just a section of the circumference. So if we took a circle and marked two points on the circumference, then this small section between them would be an arc, and this larger section on the other side would also be an arc. And again, we use our minor and major terminology, so that we can call this bit in pink the minor arc, and this bit in purple the major arc. If we go back to our circle on the left, we can apply our arc terms here as well, because this part of the circumference around the minor segment will be the minor arc, and this part around the major segments will be the major arc. The last term we need to cover is the sector, which is just a section of a circle, as if you cut a slice of pizza or cake. So it involves two radii, that each go from the centre out to the circumference, connected together by an arc. And just like segments and arcs, we really have two sectors. A smaller one, called the minor sector, which is bounded by the radii and the minor arc, and a larger one called the major sector, which is bounded by the same two radii and the major arc. So to quickly summarise this video, you can imagine it as if there are two different ways that you can cut a circle. Either straight across with a chord, which will split the circle into a minor segment and a major segment, or we can cut the circle by taking a slice using two radii, which will result in a minor sector and a major sector. In both cases though, we'll also get a minor arc and a major arc. Anyway, that's it for this video. So if you want to practice some questions on this stuff or anything else in science or maths, then do check out our website, which you can get to using the link in the top right corner of the screen. And otherwise, we'll see you next time.